When transporting dry cargo across the sea, specialized ships are specifically designated for that purpose. Whenever these vessels haul items such as sand, coal, or other granular commodities without any packaging, they are referred to as bulk carriers. A bulk carrier is, in essence, like a massive tub brimming with cargo. The size and carrying capacity of a bulk carrier vary depending on the nature of the cargo it transports, and also on the specific routes these vessels frequently navigate. The largest vessels fall under a category known as cape size, which means they cannot pass through the Panama or Suez canals and must instead travel around Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Nevertheless, whereas smaller Handymax ships can carry only about five times their own weight, a cape size vessel can manage up to eight times its own weight, making them far more efficient for massive loads. Among bulk carriers, the one with the highest gross tonnage is the ore carrier known as the Wan He Hai, built in China in 2018 and now owned by China Costco Bulk Shipping. It measures roughly 1,187 feet in length and about 213 feet in width, and boasts a gross tonnage exceeding 203,000. There are currently 20 bulk carriers of a similar size operating worldwide, though the ore carriers Vale Rio de Janeiro and Ore Brasil, owned by the mining corporation Vale, are even longer. Of course, the difference in length is only about 4 inches, so it's quite minimal. Only a handful of deepwater ports in places like China, Europe, and Brazil are equipped to accommodate ships of this magnitude. Enormous vessels of this class can consume about 110 US tons of heavy fuel oil every single day. That is indeed a considerable amount of fuel, wouldn't you agree? To cut back on fuel usage, and although it might sound unbelievable, they actually employ sails. It's no misunderstanding. The Japanese-built bulk carrier Matsukaze Maru, completed in 2022, is equipped with rigid sails. Thanks to these sails, this 771-foot-long ship can conserve about 5-8% to 8 of its fuel supply. 